entertaining, it's educational, it's exciting to watch, and it's engaging of what mm -hmm. Lord Montague actually did. How did this project come to you? What, what did you find interesting about this? Well, thanks, thanks for the compliments. I appreciate it. Um, how I came to find out about Lord Montague is I was doing some commercial advertising um, outside of Austin, Texas, where I live. And uh, actually, the head of the company came to me one day and said, hey, Luke, um, I have this interesting uncle. His name is Lord Montague. He lives in a castle in England. Would you care to go interview him? It was, <laughs> it was his uncle? It was his uncle. And I'm like, um, sure. You know, so I was like, I got a couple of guys, and we went and just to interview Lord Montague. And it was amazing. And then in the interview, he started telling me all these incredible facets of his life in this wild story that I had never heard of before. And come to find out, the family and Montague himself had just never told anybody about it. They were very, they kept it very close, guarded, and and because I was sent there by their nephew, um, they started telling me things and then trusting me. And and then I, I was like, we should make this a film. And so that took about a year to get everybody on board, to gain their trust, and uh, and then to raise the money. Um, and so that's how it came to be. It's interesting how long it takes. I always tell people because I'm not a filmmaker, I'm not an actor. I'm not a screenwriter, so people don't have to worry about that. My job is when I see a good movie is to help promote that movie. And this is that good movie. And I always tell those, those future filmmakers, you know, to do a documentary. It takes an average sometimes seven years to do. You, <laughs> sometimes you've got to gain their trust. It could take you two years to gain their trust. Yes. Okay, all right, go ahead, shoot your movie. And then right. the stuff that you get. And one of the aspects that you talked about in there was we didn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. They didn't talk about mm -hmm. certain things. Yeah. Just like regular fam families, you don't talk about certain things. Interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very difficult to, um, you're dealing with aristocracy one. Mm -hmm. Very close guard. These people were wealthy, you know, that they don't, you know, it's not like they have to tell you all their private details. Um, and so you're dealing with they that. They didn't have to tell you anything. They didn't tell me anything. To. And here I am coming with the camera crew. and So that, took, that was very hard to break down those walls. Second, I mean, I'm a, te I'm a Texan. You know, I'm not even of the culture, which actually sometimes formed an icebreaker there. It helped break the ice a little bit. But the other thing um, was it happened so long ago and it was so traumatic for Lord Montague. Lord Montague didn't even tell his kids. He basically gave them his autobiography and said, read what happened to me. Wow. That's where they found all the details. It was very hard for them to, to open up about this. Um, so if it was hard for him to tell his own kids, you can only imagine it was hard for people to tell us on camera what happened. Wow. What did you want people to know about this? And talk about the film festival route that it took, because I didn't know about that. I, I didn't, I, I didn't hear anything about that. And for me not to know, that's bizarre. Well, we played at festivals um, in, uh, like Dallas and Cleveland and Napa Film Festival, yeah. um, good film festivals. It, it didn't play at like a Sundance or something like that, but it got a good festival run. Audiences reacted very, very well. But it, Montague is a sub, is a person that no one knows anything about. But thankfully, uh, the Downton Abbey movement and all the people getting you know, really interested in English history really has given this film more interest, and I think that audiences are primed to see it now. See, that's a good thing. What would you want the people to, when people go see this movie, what do you hope they take away from this? I hope when people watch this, um, one, there's so much incredible history, but, but two, it's an amazing life story of someone who overcame something in their life, and then, you know, something bad happened and Lord Montague was sent to prison for something that today is not a crime. I mean, it's not a crime. Um, being gay is not a crime. And, and it was when he was uh, in the 1950s as a 26-year-old. And so what's interesting about him, though, is he didn't make it his life goal to say, that was wrong what happened to me and prove people wrong. He set out to, he had a goal in life to preserve his family history. He was entrusted with this palace and this 10,000 acre estate, you know, to preserve. That was his mission. And no matter what came in his way, he wasn't going to take his eyes off the goal. And so I really admire the fact that in the face of adversity, he didn't make it his life goal to prove people wrong. He just kept going and tried to accomplish what it was he had in mind. Yes, very interesting at that. Think about when you had that festival run, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the festivals because, uh, because of our festival coming up. Uh, a good movie is a good movie, even when it's got to a festival and finally find distribution. You still want those people who might not have seen it, even if it's on Amazon or iTunes. Like, I don't go on that because I've got so much stuff going on, other outlets I have to watch. You still want to see this movie, and I won't stop talking about this movie until the end of the year. 
I'll probably talk about it again until into the next year because mm. you just never know what will happen with stuff. So that's why I do mm. that. Mm. And then people around the world say, well, Brian, Brian where can I see it? And then you have to tell them, well, it's coming here. Right. It might be here. Right. And you might get it in October. Right. And then they're frustrated. Well, you've been talking about it for months now. It's like a new movie. I'm like, yeah. technically, yes, but in your area, it is. Right, right, right. So that's why I asked those because yeah. it's still, you put your heart and soul into doing this and yeah. it wasn't easy. Talk about raising the money for it too. Um, raising the money and actually... Um, the face changes. <laughs> <laughs> raising, raising money is never an easy deal, especially in documentaries. Um, uh, but we, we were able to raise the money. It took, it, it took about three years to get all the funding. Um, and uh, it, this was my first feature to direct. So I didn't have a resume necessarily. I did commercial advertising uh, for about 10 years as a contractor here and there and, and uh, worked really hard at it, but I never made a film. So it was, it was really a step-by-step -step process where we'd get a little more money, we'd go to England, we'd film more, we'd capture more of the story, we'd edit it, put it together, show it to people, get more of the money. And that was just a step-by-step -step process. Um, so yeah, it did take a long time and it was a lot of perseverance to get it done. What do you hope that people get out of seeing it? Um, because it's always better to see it on the big screen, obviously. Yeah. We hope for that. Because, you know, we're seeing, with, again, with so many outlets, Everybody wants the movie to be seen on a big screen. Right. Not, they can't always Well, happen. hey, you know what? Documentaries, you know, a lot, I'm happy with people, you know, going on, uh, it'll be on Amazon and every video on demand platform other than Netflix, because Amazon and Netflix are rivals, you know, so. Um, but it'll be on, like, nearly every on demand platform. I'm just, I think people are going to find it to be a very beautiful film. I'm very um, uh, proud of the fact that we spent a lot of time on cinematography. Um, it's not a documentary where we're just running around with a camera by any means. Um, I think it's very um, gorgeous looking, and we spend a lot of time in the narrative arc of the film. So it's a film where you're going to really get, um, you know, the ups and downs and, and the conflict and resolutions. Um, so I think people are going to be very surprised when they watch this film and, and will love it. What do you have coming up next? Uh, right now I'm working, I'm in post-production right now on a feature documentary called Delt. Uh, it's about the world's greatest card magician, and he's completely blind. Oh, and, wow. And uh, people can look for that one uh, next year. Okay. Uh, Twitter account, Facebook, help people. Yeah, people can follow me uh, on, you know, at Luke Corum or the film at Lord Montague. And uh, same thing for Facebook. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Appreciate it.